Hello there, everybody! It is me, No Name Woman Sevens Bar, back with Little Waves 3! Thank you very much, uh, Matrix, Slytherin, and, uh, Naval Warfare Simulations for letting me to have a, uh, key, a free press key to try this game out. Although, to be fair, by the time the studio releases, Little Waves 3 has already been out for multiple days, so, uh, get it if you haven't already. Um, <clears throat> <sighs> Quick stretch. Currently, uh, we are, we have just started the year 1901, uh, we did get an alliance with Italy, but it, because of this alliance, we are down a good chunk of monthly balance. Um, now, every year I'm trying to build a, uh, single battleship and a single armored cruiser, and... Given the current state of things, that's going to be very difficult to squeeze in this year. Um, next year will be easy, because uh, Jules Ferry will complete. But, um, you know, we can get... We're right now waiting to get uh, Gal Lewis out. Uh, that will be followed immediately by, uh, by uh, Henri IV. And, uh, yeah, then Republic would be next year. Um, we do have a destroyer flotilla completing, and I don't think I'm going to immediately lay down another one until some of these CLs complete, or until I have more money. Um, but I think I can get a little bit more money from one place. So Solly should be reserved. If I look at these, I think Duplay will be mothballed. Um, so that leaves... Basically, the eight CAs I've designed in reserve, and then the um, AI CAs in uh, Mothball. I think that's a good way to get some extra money out of the budget. <coughs> while, ten while tensions are low and while we have an alliance. And also because I will be building a new battleship this year. I will be scrapping um, another one of the uh, older um, pre-dreads. In this case, uh, Solferino looks to be in the worst condition. So I will scrap Solferino. Give me a little bit more money and... Uh, Also kind of help, or and also kind of helps out with uh, or with the budget, just a little bit. Um, I think I can mothball Ocean. <coughs> and with that out of the way, that saved a little bit of funds. So um, hopefully when Gal Lewis completes and these complete, I'll actually be like almost budget positive again. Or you know if I can get some good events going. But I feel like I'm not going to lay down the battleship until late, either mid or late in the year. And then the armored cruiser is probably going to be late in the year if I can even get it laid down. I actually should have a sheet laid up. US. Oh. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm just taking a look at these. So, Italy's laid down new CA, some more destroyers. Fenton is under rebuild. Okay. Italy has rebuilt ships. Russia has rebuilt ship. Uh, below average uh, Contra Amaral left the service. Um, Captain Deviso Picon promoted. Tension with Italy is reduced. Indications have stolen. Someone spying on us. British scientists have invented six foot range finders. So. Sign a new commander to Ocean. Um, I'll take an average guy. If I look at the division editor, they all have one. So yeah, that was just one guy getting promoted then. Oh god, yeah. Still losing... Uh, oh hey, more more dock size. It's probably going to be a while before I act to actually build docks. Um, I will sell that. So that I can uh, keep money, or keep having money. Oh, 
Okay, Jules Ferry got delayed. I think when uh, Henri the Fourth is maybe um, ooh, five hundred ton destroyers. That would actually be really good. I think maybe when Henri the Fourth is like three months from completion, something happened. Um, one guy got promoted, and then another guy, or two guys got promoted, and then another guy left the service. So. Um, I'll take an unassigned guy on you. Um, you can right now take an average, because you're someone I can move up in the future. And then, in my division editor... Uh, we don't know anything about this guy, so uh, let's take somebody, you know, a CV who's unassigned and uh, put them there just in case they're good. Because that would be, you know, CVs are guys I can put on capital ships. Um, so I think when Henri the Fourth is three months away from completion, that's probably when I will uh, <coughs> design a new ship. Okay, um... You know what, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say... 6th Destroyer Division gets the, uh... Oriflame class, and then... The ninth destroyer division will get the uh, darts. Um, we'll add another currently unknown CV. So assign a commander here. So we have an average unassigned commander, but I might want to take someone from an earlier ship. So this would either be a Montcalm, or yeah, either a Montcalm or one of the other battleships. We could take the Chanzi guy. Which one's CA Marseille? That's a Desay. I want those guys to be good. Uh, oh, we could take this guy off of Richelieu, but no. Dupetit Trois is a um, Montcalm. I think that's who I promote there. Um, not guys above average, no connections. I'll put the average guy in charge. But apparently we did actually have an above average guy with uh, no connections I put could have put in here. Um, all right, immediately reserve her. <clears throat> uh, which battle division do I want her to be a part of? So right now, three and four battle division are, you know, having their ships scrapped basically um there's a good ch chance i will merge those two battle divisions probably in about a year i don't think i want you lewis to be a flagship i'd rather rotate out the flagship with someone else um I'll add her um, to the end of the uh, first battle division. Okay, one more turn. Our monthly balance is now actually slightly positive. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Sorry for the coughing. Um, 
send a diplomatic note to Spain, because it's like, Spain, what are the messages? Nothing much. Alright, so division editor, I think that would be 6 destroyer division, right? Yeah. There we go. Okay, so now is when I want to start on a uh, new battleship design. I uh, I do believe. So I'll take a look at the Henri the Fourth. I think I'm going to go with a normal engine instead, medium range. Go with a smaller design. Uh, clear the superstructure. We are going to go with smaller 5-inch mounts. More rounds of ammo, though. Gun data. Yeah, she doesn't have full protection against her own guns, though. I might go with, like, belt extended of 3. The shells are only going to get better, but I, I need a lighter battleship is what I'm thinking. Okay, that's not exactly light. <clears throat> well, the thought is we don't have armored secondaries. I probably will do splinter protected secondaries. Rid of the entire visual superstructure of this ship. I think I will leave the um sec bat where it currently is though. So yeah, this should be a l slightly cheaper than in uh, Henri the Fourth, and that's kind of that's kind of the goal. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, let me look up French battleships of this time. List of French battleships. The battleships of France. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out when is the most or ship most appropriately laid down. So that would probably be the uh, historical republic class. <clears throat> This is slightly heavier than a uh, historical republic, I will note. Um, and uh, less well protected. Probably because I have like extra weight remaining intentionally. Um, part of me is like, maybe, maybe she had an arrow belt, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> oh wait, no, these were in twins. That might do it. Okay, yeah, now all the guns have moved. If I do singles, it's okay. Um, if I do casemates, it's okay. If I do singles, if I do twins, is that okay? No, it's not. Triples. No. 
so this would uh, use up a little bit more weight, but it would make these guns more operable in, uh, you know, good weather. So now I'm looking up the uh, Republic class of uh, Battleship, I should say, pre-Dreadnought, because I seem to be getting a World of Warships fictional ship. <clears throat> and I'm still getting that a little bit, but not to the same extent. Okay. So, I think what I'm going to do is, hmm, graphics-wise, I want to create like a bridge structure for her. In this case, um, I'll do this, back, forward, uh, Go probably about there. Yeah, we can do this, and then um, what I will do is I will save this equipment shape as um, what the. Okay, um, so load equipment shape, look in graphics, save equipment shape, go up, um, that's data, okay. There's a custom graphics folder now. I'm going to see if I can stick it in there. Um, NN Bridge 2. Or maybe 3. Okay. Get at that. Add visual. So go up. I go to save and then custom graphics and then open that. It does not work. God damn it. So I have to actually rebuild that again. I did not get that perfect at all. Again, so uh, boop, snap, snap. Out to the side. Okay. So I now have to maneuver up all the way to um, data graphics. They need a better place to put these. Oh god, I should have centered it. Hold on, I should have centered it. So the exact center point is roughly here. That that should be good enough. Data graphics um and NN bridge three. <coughs> so 
So if I go now to uh, and then bridge three, it should work, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, set position on bridge three to about there. Um, I'm going to have a lower, part of me is like I'm going to have a lower superstructure level to represent the, uh, what is it, the conning, the armored conning tower, but I think that I actually don't need to do that, because if I just do a circle, like maybe let's, how big is a 20 foot? Actually, I think that that 20 foot circle is pretty good. Um, so what I want to do is I wanted to edit the ship or the hull, hull form. I'm going to do a narrower hull. So this will just kind of be the first um, first pass of this. So that is not great. Okay, do back a bit. Okay, I think that gets a little bit more of the hull form I want. Um, <clears throat> yep. Okay, so I will save this as... Um, The hall, then, um, B. Although I'm not entirely sure how you, um, oh, that might be a design template. You might have to load a design template here. I don't know. It doesn't have a load for default hall, which I think would be helpful. Um, okay, so I want to add the... Uh, and then bridge three. Actually, I want to do. I want a smaller circle. Okay, I think that works a little better. Okay, so structure one. Um, I'm now to the point where battleships I'm building wouldn't really have much of a ram bow, if any at all. This one may be like very slight. Actually, I shouldn't be doing this on structure one. I should be uh, doing this on structure two.
I selected structure two, did I not? Trying to think where. Okay, so I get two more. So I'm going to do this, and then that would close off. And then uh, I guess structure one starts here. I will go back. Not there. Um. Hmm. Okay, that kind of works. So now with the uh, sec bat, I can start positioning it. So you guys, all right, you don't have casemates. All right, that was a really dumb move of me to uh, do that with a battleship that actually does not have casemates. Um, All right, so then maybe what I'll do is I'll do Something a little bit more like this, and then that gets me structure two back. Actually, no. Here's what I'll do. I will use both structure one and structure two for this. So structure one will go out there. And then structure, no, structure one, start back here and then just kind of Follow the curve of the hall a little bit. Didn't quite work as intended. That didn't quite work as intended either. Um, structure one. Actually, I think structure two is a bit flawed, but oh well. Um, I think if I do this, I'll be oh, more okay. Okay, I think that kind of works. <coughs> Let me get uh, 
Or is it Captain's Walk for pre-dreads? Maybe a two? So funnel-wise, she'd probably have a funnel located roughly there. Second one located slightly further back, and the third one all the way back there. Um, like the uh, French pre-dreads I am basing her off of. So Where is... There we go, this guy. I think these would go, like, here, probably. Okay, so I think that's five. Um... Hold on, let me set the rest angle. Now I'll put those there. I'm going to put that there. You guys can go there, and then I can uh, set the rest angle of these to 180. Actually, I can set these out a little further, like 100. Nope. 200. <clears throat> I'll be honest, this is going to be one strange looking breed dread. <clears throat> Everything is okay, right? Yes. Let me get anchor chains in. And this one, I, can, I think I can add a breakwater. We'll try maybe a 30-foot breakwater. Okay, um, it's already looking pretty good. So in this regard, um, actually, hold on. I want to, with three, start by, um, giving a bit of a superstructure like that. How about I do this? Okay.
So I imagine this will be like a boat deck. We'll probably have a crane here. Um, then I will do like um, this around this funnel. Just a touch to this side. Okay then, um, I do have more superstructure to add, but uh, I actually want to start with some circles. So we know that's a 14 foot circle right there. Is that what I want? I'll try a 14 foot. No, I want a 16 foot circle. Copy that, set position. Copy it again, set a new position. And further back. And look at how good this is looking already. Um, okay, so. One, probably a Mast with single boom, no cross trees. Uh, for now, I'm just going to stick that there and then copy it later. Boats. Try maybe a uh, 30 foot width divisions. I'm going to try a 30 foot width ends in center support. Do a 35 foot width uh, divisions over here. Hmm. I'm going to do a 28 foot with divisions top of this one. Do a smaller. You know, 25 foot with ends is as big as the 30 foot with ends and center support, so, um. That's something. How about we do a uh, boat 25? Uh, we'll do a boat 20. Do a boat 20. Set rest angle. Maybe 20 degrees. Um, so I'm trying to think what other boat I would want. Well, like a 30 foot with divisions. Set rest angle to 180, set rest angle maybe to like 190? No, other way. I'm gonna do with like a 25 foot up. Nope. I'll do a uh, 21 foot with divisions on top. Uh, 
like 170, right? Yeah. Okay, now I can do the cranes, which in this case are going to be massed with single boom, no cross trees. Those will go right here. Uh, I'm actually going to set your resting the other way around. Uh, mm, they're a little difficult to make out, but that should be good. Remove that one, because it's not necessary. Actually, it doesn't quite belong there. Um, I just have one of the circle... I'll do a circle 16 foot for the masts. Then on top of that, put down a mast, um, mast fighting top with cross tree, maybe a small one. I'll do a medium. So I want to copy the that one and then set its position back there. In this case, I will use a uh, pole mast. Mast pole with a simple cross tree. Then set that that guy's position back over here. So let's move this a little bit further. <clears throat> okay, I'm liking how that's looking. Okay, so my question is, these guns probably should not be sponsored at all. Um, not my question, that my uh, observation is that. And then I believe we still have lines 5 and 6 to use. So I can't add more detail here. I can probably add some here. Um, actually, no. So I'm going to start this, like... I have an, a whole extra structure point to work with, which I just don't know what to use it on. The moment when Rule the Waves superstructure gen has gotten so 
good that uh, me and trying to make the maximized superstructure for a ship, I, I don't know how to do it anymore. Because it's like, oh yeah, no, um, everything you have like already exists. Actually, here's what we do. I will put structure 6 on here. There you go. I think that looks good. Um, I will actually probably position the forward turret slightly further back and the uh, aft turret um, slightly further forward. I may add one more visual in and that would be a uh, rectangle graded medium which I will be using to represent uh, Kind of some wind. Uh, I'll copy it. I'll be using these to represent kind of like windows on the aft end of the ship. Just kind of uh, let a little bit of light in for the crew. There we go. There we go. I think that is uh the battleship. Um, yeah, not done. Save and finish. Take two months. I should have waited another month. Ah, oh, well. Save. Next turn. That is, uh... That's a battleship. Uh, Aust Austria, that is a battleship. What... I think doesn't even have, like, armored guns. Draw riveting. Medium wing turrets enable secondary wing double turrets up to 10 inches in caliber. Um, which does mean that Aina is now obsolete. I don't really care. One thing I want to take like, or t quickly take a look at. Is this legal? Oh, it is time! You know what time of, uh... You know what sort of armored cruisers it's time for. I really like building these things. Actually, wait, no. It's not. Because if I look at our research... Yeah, we'd have to do 8-inch guns. Alright, um... Apparently it's time for a blucher style armored cruiser um but you know i think the first thing we do is we get iana laid down something doesn't have a commander you don't that is a Suchet. so um should probably get someone who's good um so who here is actually good i'd be looking at someone on either sfax or coat logan I think, um, this Guttinger guy, probably who I want. And then I need to assign you a new commander who will just be somebody who I don't even know. Go one more turn. Ooh. My vigil skin has presented a suggestion for a new gunnery training program. They claim... Minus prestige, immediate gunnery training benefit, but it still costs to maintain. So my guess is that would be, um, my guess is that would be in doctrine. I don't think that would be a good thing to do right now. I need the money for new ships. I don't need the money for, um, gunnery training.
All right, there we go. The uh, 1901 battleship has now been laid down. Is it, okay, I don't want to actually look there. If I look at Doctrine, yeah, I think that would have just done that. Which, if we were closer to war, I would have considered it. If we were close to war, I would have been like, you know what, that's a good deal. We're not close to war. We don't need to spend that money right now. Um, yeah, we do have some more... Stu or more stuff we've gotten. Uh, should be completing these cruisers soon. So let's get... I will get Henri IV completed. That was actually a really good term to take. Henri IV is overweight, unfortunately. Power Rammers... Okay. And the next turn, we would normally get uh, something out. So Henri the Fourth is the first, like, true, or Henri the Fourth is like the first true good pre-dread. And uh, oh, it looks like um, Charlemagne lost her commander, but um, let's assign a new commander. So what is the best commander we have? Um, so, let's see, Lekison of uh, Ocean looks good. Be a really good one to grab. Um, Sky off of Carnot, above average sportsman. We're looking at the CA, so I probably don't want to take these guys. Just cannon average. Duthu of one that say is above average. I I think it is better to grab someone off of one of the older uh, pre-dreads. So in this case, I think I will be taking uh, Lekison off of one of the Oceans. Even though the Oceans are relatively good. some of, The Oceans are some of the better um, older ironclad battleships. But, you know, that would be a guy I want. Alright, so Charlemagne, assign a new commander. So we have a couple unassigned commanders here, um, Perzo and Morau. Morau is above average in a poor ship handler. Um, then we got above average, no connections. Then I think I will take... Uh, do I want to take you or do I want to try to figure out who you are? Actually, do I know any any of the guys on any of the destroyer divisions? That guy's average. It's just an ocean. I'll take the average guy and then save the uh, better commander for uh, one of the destroyers. Okay. So, assign a new commander here. Um, assign that guy for now so we can figure the... Or, you know, figure out his skill. Assign a commander to the fleet flag. We actually have a number of unassigned guys. Um, actually, that I think that would be fun. St. Cyr, you get the fleet flag division now. And uh, we do have to get Colt Logan a new commander, which would just be... You know, assign somebody we don't know. Actually, I like that guy. But we're about to commission new uh, CLs. So, an average good administrator? I think you get protet. Anyway, uh, that is it for this episode. Thank you everyone for watching. And I think next episode, we'll be designing a uh, Blucher style CA. Um... Or possibly like a fast blooker. We'll see if we can do like a 25 knots, like a Jules Ferry or something. But um, I don't know. I'll, I'll be content with like 24. Uh, thanks for watching. Links are down below to where you can purchase Rule of the Waves 3 on you know either the Matrix Store or Steam, as well as a uh, Rule of the Waves Discord server. I'm gonna say uh, unofficial, pseudo official, whatever. Um, not truly official, but kinda. Um, 
but like there's also a matrix discord which i don't have linked and i might i don't know i'd have, probably have to ask permission um and uh, also links to my own discord twitch and twitter if you're interested in any of the things all right see you next time bye